Hello everybody, today we are going to be illustrating Amphisaion or Lazy Ponensis, the bear dog of Portugal. But don't quote me on that because the species Lazy Ponensis, meaning of or pretending to Lisbon, may not be valid anymore, as it was described some time ago and it could just be lumped into one of the already known species, Amphisaion giganteus. Actually, it seems Amphisaion always Eponensis was separated into his own genus, Euro Amphisaion always Eponensis. So let's just forget about all of that and pretend we are illustrating Amphisaion Gigantis. Also, before I started drawing, I read the Wikipedia article on Amphisaion and watched these two great videos by PBS Eons and Dr. Polaris. The links will be in the description if you want to check them out. Now, bear dogs are quite interesting. They are neither bears nor dogs, but, as the name suggests, are related to both. Currently, it's agreed upon that they are basal caniforms, evolving before dogs and before bears evolved from the common ancestor with dogs. Because I'm not very experienced with mammals, I didn't want a super complicated pose, so I went for a seeing position and also made it yawn because it's super adorable and it makes the pose less boring. And for the rest of the anatomy, I used this reconstruction of the musculature, as well as images from the book Paleo Artist's Handbook, which is a must have for Paleo Artist. Now for the refined sketch. As always, I'm just drawing on top of the rough sketch, trying to keep its integrity while adding detail and maybe some visual flair in the form of hair clumps. At first, I didn't think this was going to be the final sketch, but in the end, it actually ended up being good enough. I was really happy with how it turned out, so I just decided to stick with it. Because Amphisaion is a very hairy animal, at least in my depiction, it is very difficult to have a good sketch that represents hair in a good way, but also is airtight and allows for a quick max selection, like I showed you in my previous video of the Brachiosaurus. So for this one, I decided to focus more on air quality and shape in my refined sketch with the trade-off being that I would have to paint the mask manually as you see me doing here.
Now, I apologize, but because I had just written from a break, I forgot to start recording while I did this rough coloration that you are seeing. Although the process wasn't too complicated. I mainly looked at large terrestrial apex predators of today, such as wolves, dogs, cats and bears, with a larger focus on canids and ursids, as they are Amphisaion's closest relatives. These large predators, except for cats, tend to have simple colorations of them being just brown, black, or a mix of greys and browns, so that is what I went with here. Also had an element of counter shading with a lighter coloration on the ventral side of the animal. As usual, for the shadows, I simply created a multiplier layer on top, chose a bluish grey color in the direction of the light, and started painting. Now the shadows looked ok, how oh, they are, but something wasn't quite right, so I changed the hue and brightness and started painting some warmer values into the shadows. And after that, I created another shadow layer to create those deeper values. Then I created a new layer, set the mode to overlay, chose a whitish warm color, and started painting the areas closer to the light source trying to keep a three-dimensional feeling and adding detail to the fur at the same time, mainly by following the clumps I had already drawn in your fine sketch phase. For the final details of the illustration, I added wet highlights to the eyes, nose, mouth, highlights to the claws, added whiskers, and finally highlights to the parts of the fur that would be closest to the light source. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any video suggestions or ideas, or even opinions about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, without further ado, here's the final result.